I'm not in my home nail studio. I am in my new nail studio, guys. I'm so excited, I literally can't even cope. So it was only a matter of time before I actually got my very own studio. It's so surreal seeing my own brand of nail products and nail art in my own drawers. It's, it's a surreal moment, it's pretty wicked, it's pretty cool. She'll be my last client, end of an era, start of a new one. We're really gonna go in there, because that's just chaos. I think it looks a bit messy. I've got my clients starting back in two days and we're still in this kind of situation a mess. I'm currently sat on the floor. You probably can't even see that well, but I'm organizing all of my nail varnish into these drawers. They are getting full, but I've got all of these, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna fit these all in. I don't need this many. And they've got lots of duplicates that are very similar. It's actually looking and tidy and you can pretty much see the whole setup. Top drawer I've actually moved. Pretty much they all fit in there by these guys. Still haven't quite sorted everything out and also guys look I finally got the plaque. Need to give a moment to this and a massive shout out to you all. Thank you so much. There is over 100,000 of you. This is the space and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm sure it's gonna change and move around of course like that's just gonna happen that's inevitable hello everybody welcome back to another video oh i think the lens is a bit dirty let me just get that i think that's better welcome back to another video on my channel really really exciting you might have already been able to see in the background but i'm not in the usual place I'm not in my home nail studio. I am in my new nail studio, guys. I'm so excited, I literally can't even cope. This is my new nail studio. Literally moving in as we speak. And obviously you guys know I am obsessed with organization and I know you are too. So vlogging was just, it was a must. I need to document this process, this new chapter. I'm so excited to take you guys along with me. So yeah, it's the 27th of June. This is my new studio and I'm so excited to set it all up and organize it. Oh my gosh, and get all my drawers all organized. And then a little sneak peek around the corner in there is where if you guys don't know, and if you are new here, hey, I'm Isabel, I'm a nail technician. I've been doing it for quite some time and here on YouTube, documenting and sharing tutorials and that with you guys too. But recently, well, almost a year ago, I launched my very own nail brand. So this from in here is where Nails Lux is gonna be held. That is the new Nails Lux HQ. It's really nice to be able to have space to be able to do my clients and do all my work. And then Nails Lux is just next door. It's just gonna be so much fun. And I want to share it all with you guys. So, yeah, I feel like I'm talking loads. I think I'm procrastinating just dying because there's literally so much and that isn't even all of it. Literally still unpacking my studio. So my old studio, my nail studio is at my mum's house, my parents' house. So it was only a matter of time before I actually got my very own studio. So it's Monday today, tomorrow I'm gonna be unpacking basically all of my nail kit that's at my mum's house and bringing it over here. I've got Maisie to help me as well, which is great. Yeah, to start organising and doing all this. I am going to crack on. I think I'm just going to move some of these things out of the way because I can't. I just don't have room at the moment. And just to have a little bit of a tidy up because I can't, I just can't even think because stuff is literally everywhere. <laughs> This is my new nail desk. It's not actually new. I got it from a charity shop as I've just painted it black pretty much everywhere and then just left these bits not painted. I think it looks so cool going for like an industrial vibe, lots of plants, kind of greenhouse vibe. I've already sort of started organizing it, putting stuff in drawers i got these cool organizers you would have seen these from a vlog literally months ago maybe six months ago if not longer they're from ikea they're super cheap they're about 50p each i had them with every intention of when i had my new space my own studio and it's finally here so i'm able to start organizing it so i've kind of been 
putting them in my drawers. I've got some more. I might buy some of the Nails Lux goodies. These are the pressed chrome palettes in all lots of different shades. And the Nails Lux flakes. It's so surreal seeing my own brand of nail products and nail art in my own drawers. It's, it's a surreal moment. It's pretty wicked. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I've started organising everything. Got all my brushes in there. Got all my tools. Got quite a lot of space in here. Getting things out on the top. But there's a lot to organise and go through. Okay, so I've grabbed all my different sizes of these. I think I've got another size somewhere that's like a deep conversion of this. I don't know where it is. I've ordered a couple more. And then I've got these little baby mini ones. I've got these ones, which are very well loved. It's what I used in my old storage, um, my old nail desk. And also these guys here, which I've got like a longer version of, or bigger versions of these. So hopefully all of this should be enough all of these. I'm going to have a see what I can fit in the different drawers because I think that I'm going to put e file bits over here. So I feel like that'll be a good place to store little e file bits. Oh, they're also good for my little limp pads. So e file bits and limp pads I feel like can go in here. Okay, all my clean limp pads, then my reusable limp pads for nails up. I've also got my navy dolly pop there. I've also got some of the willow sanding bands. I wonder if maybe I should put them in there like that. I can just live there. That will do for now. What is going on in here? I wonder if two of these will fit. In a row. Oh, they just fit. It's a bit tight, but they just fit. And then I think in here, put a couple of cleaning products and things away in here already. Nail art palettes. So maybe I can put some of these guys in here. These drawers actually go a lot further back than I realised, but I could still pull the drawer out and get to the back areas. So I definitely think it's worth me having some stuff. Oh my goodness, that fits like a dream. Okay, cool. Happy with that. Now I can put my palettes here. Maybe put clean products. No, that's not gonna fit in there. Hmm. Maybe I'll put manicure brushes. In here. I'm also going to put this guy in here because this is the laundry bag for all the dirty ones back because they're reusable and you can just wash them. So I'm going to pop that in here. So whenever I use any of the maybe dolly cloths or my nails lux reusable cleanse and shine pads, I can put them straight in the little wash bag to take home to wash. Honestly guys, I'm terrible. I've changed it around again. So I've moved it around so that the reusable limp pads are in here. I've put all my tools and brushes in there. And I've kind of done half and half with the organizers and they do fit really nicely in here, which I am so buzzing about. And here's pretty much the same. Here I've kind of changed it. And then over here, I've organized the drawers so like this. And then like this. I'm not gonna lie it's probably gonna change again but that's kind of where i've got at right now today it's now about four o'clock today so i'm gonna head home from the new nail studio and go back to my lovely parents house technically my salon's still there and i've got a client this evening at 4 30 so i want to get home and get ready for her she'll be my last client at my home studio at my parents house so it's kind of it's, it's kind of a special moment so yeah and kind of like end of an era start of a new one so yeah i'm just gonna 
finish up here I'm pretty much just gonna leave it all like this because it's just it's th there's no making this tidier there's no making this tidier because there's literally stuff everywhere and there's gonna be even more stuff here tomorrow when me and Maisie bring another load of stuff but yeah I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow when we are packing away the last remaining bits of my home nail studio and then on the way to bring it here so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone. So we're back. No, I'm back with Maisie. It's Thursday today, isn't it? Yeah. The yeah, 30th. 30th. Thursday the 30th of March. No, June. <laughs> June. And we're in the nail studio. We're in the nail studio. Everything is a mess. Boxes. Yeah. And we're currently putting together, well, it's just arrived. You can't even see my desk at the moment. We're putting together a sofa that's gonna go there. Never put so much Ikea furniture off in my life. Yeah, it's hard work, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Maisie's a pro at it now. finished making the sofa it's a bit creased it's the next day <laughs> <laughs> same day sofa's done it's quite comfy yeah peek can go up got loads of stuff to build mm -hmm. cupboards but we've got a sofa so that's all that matters. That, that's all that matters so yeah update on the room this is the situation and loads of cardboard out there. oh my gosh this is the room we're not even gonna go in there because that's yeah. just chaos yeah. so better Maisie has now left and I am continuing to sort and organize everything. So I'm just trying to sort out, you guys might recognize these. I have these for all my gels and glitters and chromes and all that kind of thing is all in here. So I'm just trying to figure out, we've just built this unit back there. I'm just trying to figure out how I want it. I've actually got another one of these units that I could build and maybe put it like here. But I'm not sure that I'm gonna have more, enough room or maybe put it along there. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure I'm gonna change this around a million times anyway. Or I might be able to like move this desk a bit, like more parallel almost to the sofa. Push it this way a bit and then do the two along there or move it, I don't know. I'm not sure. But what's really good is I put the shelves in and I've been able to stack two sets of drawers in here. So I've got four drawers in this section here. And I'm debating whether to put another stack of two in each in this section here. That will be basically all of them because I think I've got nine. Yeah, I've got nine drawer sets. So that will be all of them. And then I can just leave this one out on top maybe. I'm not 100% sure yet what I want to do and I'm sure it's going to change loads. I also have doors that go on the front of these to cover this all up which I think will be nice because in the bottom I've got all like acetone and alcohol IPA and things like that and I'll have like cleaning products all under there I don't really want them on show so I'm thinking potentially to put the doors on them I wasn't sure whether I was gonna or not and I still am not 100% sure that's the update at the moment the other two are in here there we go that is what it's looking like and that's almost actually what my clients would be seeing because my clients would almost be sat where you are right now so i think it looks a bit messy i kind of want to go for a slightly more closed away in cupboards look and not ever think so much 
out. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like this because I feel like it looks really messy, especially that bottom shelf down there. They fit a lot in them. If you guys wanna know what these are, they are just the bookshelves from Ikea and you can get them with the doors on or without. I just need to get the other unit built and see where it's all gonna fit and just start clearing some space in here so I can actually see what's what in here because I feel like that's the problem is I need to start putting stuff away so I've got space to see then where units are going to go because at the moment it's just no space to like try and set up a unit there and see what it'd be like. Stuff in boxes here. I've cleared this box actually now. That's empty. Thanks. Hello my lovelies. I'm back for another day of vlogging. It's a few days later now. It's, I think it's the following week since I picked up the camera. It is Tuesday the 5th of July. So, progress, update, still looking like a mess in here, but I finally fitted the doors on here. So this is where I've got all of the drawers, of all my nail art, and I've got the gel on the top. I've got the trolley, I've got my new bin, and yeah. So that's kind of what that's looking like over there. I've just opened this. I've put some of my client file boxes in here. I've got a load of my gel polishes that I use on the regular basis in here that I want to start putting away. And I think I'm going to put them all in here so they're easy access. And then I'm going to paint the tops of all of them so I can see the colours that they are inside. I think that's what I'm going to do. It was either that or they were going to go in the bottom drawer down here but I think I'm going to put my nail polish in here that I use so that will be where all the gels are kept I think. Oh, I'm gonna really irritate myself now. I think I'm gonna turn them this way so I can see the names. So I'm probably gonna have this trolley like this against the wall. So I want them to go that way so I can easily see. right way around just be able to pick it out and check the colour quickly eventually I am gonna add these little things that I've bought they're like little circular bits of plastic that you can paint and I'm gonna stick them all on the top so I can see which the colours are from above because at the moment it's kind of irritating you can't kind of tell so I'll just have to go in and check when I want to find a colour in all of the gels these are all the evo bioscopes gels i mainly use these guys on my clients and on myself so i like to have them easy accessible and i think that will be all right obviously at the moment you can't really tell what color it is unless you pick it out but i think that will be all right i'll be able to kind of get an idea of where certain colors are and i'll definitely go back and organize them so like blues to purples to pinks and like through the rainbow and then eventually I'll stick that colour dot on the top but yeah I think this this will do for now I found the little things that I was on about it comes like this they're from Amazon and they come these little kind of plastic things that you break off but you paint the back of them first and then stick them to the top of these so you can see what colour you've 
got in the bottle which will be perfect and ideal for how I'm storing them in here. I'm not sure if I'll store them like this for forever but I've got my clients starting back in two days and we're still in this kind of situation a mess. So I gotta get a wiggle on. Okay next thing I need to organise and put away are all my nail art inks. I'm going to I think put them in this next tier down on the trolley. I'm gonna hopefully see if they all fit in there. If they do amazing they're gonna stay in there for the time being. So let's Let's see if they fit. I fit them all in. I'm so happy. Looks pretty good. There's actually some space back here, so I might be able to put some other things in there too. Or I mean, there's room to grow. I was debating whether to have some of them like up on the side here on display, but I think for now that that's fine. I feel like that's looking nice and neat and tidy. Although I am kind of thinking now that potentially if I have overflow of these gels, they're gonna have to go in here because I kind of want them to all be together. Two down, one more space to go. I still have got all my drawers in here to fill. I haven't got much in here apart from some nail art bits, some tissues and things like that. So yeah, and down here I've organized it. So I've got all my essentials, like my cleaning liquids and cleansers and all that kind of thing. And then these drawers definitely need a good organise eventually, but I just got to put stuff away. I think I'm just going to try and get as much of this stuff put, put away as possible. And then once I've kind of all got it in drawers and away, so it's all nice and clean and tidy, then I can have a reshuffle and reorganise and sort out. I also have these drawers here. I got both my desk, I don't know if I've already told you guys, my desk and this unit here from a charity shop. And I just painted them black and then left the drawers as they were. I'm absolutely obsessed. But in here I've got all my masks. In here I've got gloves. More gloves. Here I've got some like sanitising wipes from Navy. Navy. And here I've got napkins and things for laying like couch roll on the table. But slowly, slowly clearing drawers and making space. Update guys, more of a clear space now. And I've got my new unit from Urban Outfitters. Really, really happy with it. I got it in the sale. I got it for, I think about 70% off. Really, really good. The only annoying thing is, is this drawer seems to be a little bit different and the paint's chipping on it. But I don't think you can tell, it kind of goes with the aesthetic of it. So I've had a little shuffle around. I've put this behind my desk now. And then I've got the black cupboard here and I've built the second one. I can't remember if I've done that last time I updated you. So I've put them like that because I feel like that just makes the space look a little bit nicer. Not that you can tell at the moment because it's a total mess. But yeah, you can kind of get an idea of it from here once I've cleaned all this. But I've literally got clients as of tomorrow morning. So I'm really trying to get this sorted ASAP. All this needs sorting. And then I've got the rest my nail stuff and bags and boxes over here and down there and under there slowly but surely we're getting there i just need to get it ready so it functions and then i can properly like hang my pictures and hang these little bits that i've got on the wall and stuff so it will look really cute but yeah this is progress it's the next day it's wednesday by the way so let's try and speed put away some of this stuff I'm currently sat on the floor. You probably can't even see that well, but I'm organizing all of my nail varnish into these drawers. I'm doing pinks, blues and purples, greens and yellows and that kind of thing.
they are getting full so over here i've got oranges reds to like dark reds and browns blacks blues grays greens and yellow here i've got pinks and kind of peaches and hot pinks purples dark purple in here i've got all my glitters whites and then top coats base coats that kind of thing but i've got all of these which are the biosculpture nail varnishes too so i'm not sure if i'm going to fit these all in i could potentially do a little bit of a declutter of these guys because i'm pretty sure i don't need this many and they've got lots of duplicates that are very similar so yeah i'm gonna see how many i can fit into here back for day four three i'm not really sure i've lost count my hair is a massive mess i had it drying i washed it and then put it up to dry naturally up in a bun so it's a massive mess look like i've been dragged through a bush backwards but that's fine no one can see me apart from you guys and everyone watching but it's fine progress look at the progress it's actually looking clean and tidy and you can pretty much see the whole setup right now so i've made a lot of progress i basically had to put the camera down and just crack on because as you guys know because i said i had clients coming hello beatrice is here too hi baby anyway yeah i had clients coming and it was a total mess and when you film at the same time things take like triple as long so i had to put the camera down and get cracking there is still, however, this massive mess of stuff still to unbox. There's like acrylic powders and nail art stuff in there. I've still got to find a home for that. And then I've got some new products there that need to go away. But I have made some progress. I have moved things around. The second unit, it's pretty much full now. So I've moved it so the two units are there. I've got one of my lights set up. And then I've got this unit is the one from Urban Outfitters. Really, really like it. I thought they were gonna be metal drawers, but they're not, but they're wooden. Hi there. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? So anyway, I've organised these drawers a little bit and put stuff away. You might have seen I've changed in here. I've taken all the inks out here. Can I help you? Beatrice would like to do... <laughs> what are you doing? She would like to do the tour of the drawers. So as I've said before, things will probably change. Could you get your niggin out the way, please, so I can show everyone? Okay. Top drawer, I've actually moved so that it has got all of my nail art inks in there. Pretty much they all fit in there by these guys, so I just popped these ones on display because they're the gold metallic ones, and I use them a lot. Then in here, I've got loads of Brill Bird nail art gels and loads of like nail arty kind of gel effect gels on the left. In here, I've got all of my, Beatrice is trying to get involved. <laughs> in here's all of the acrylic paints, and that kind of thing for doing nail art and acrylic paints. And then in the next few drawers, I've got all my other brands of gel polish. They're the Biosculpture ones. And then in here, I've got loads of different brands of gel polish that I like to keep because, you know, spent so much, invested so much money on them. So I like to keep them so I can compare colours and try different colours. So that's what that's full of. Then the next after that down at the bottom is where... I have put all of my nail varnish and I've colour coordinated it. So I've got blues and greens in here, greys and pinks and nudes to more pinks and purples to oranges and reds. They're all in there. So that's what I've done with these drawers. I'm actually really surprised these drawers can fit a hell of a lot in them, which is awesome. And then over here, I still haven't quite sorted everything out. And also guys, look, I finally got the plaque. It arrived in the post. So definitely need to give a moment to this and a massive, massive shout out to you all. Thank you so much. Without you, it literally wouldn't be possible. There is over 100,000 of you. So yeah. It's crazy, it's surreal. I've had this channel for probably five years, maybe longer. So yeah, it's definitely a wicked milestone to reach and I have you guys to thank for that. So yeah, forever grateful for you and thank you so much for watching and enjoying the content I put out for you guys and I hopefully it helps and it's educational and you can learn something and or just escape life and watch the craziness of my videos, you know? So anyway, back to the drawers, back to the drawers, back to the cupboards. I've got all of my nail art drawers in here and then at the bottom that I've got all my like cleaning stuff and liquids and big things like that so that's everything that's in there 
So that's in here. And then my desk is from, I think I've already told you, from a charity shop and I painted it. Love it. In this drawer, I've kind of got all of my essentials. So I've got my own personal files and everything back there. Packet of tissues, you know, essentials. And yeah, just like tools, brushes, everything that I need in that top drawer. In here, I've got my forms and still reusable limp pads. Next drawer down, I've got more nail art stuff, the kind of the bits that I reach for quite a lot. So flakes and chromes and leaf and more gold leaf and gold foil. I use that a lot. So I've got a massive roll of it. Next drawer down, tissues. I don't think I'm gonna go through all of these, but these are e bits. These are all my essential gels and that kind of thing. So you can see. I've kind of organised. And then in here I've got like masks, gloves, cleaning stuff, my client's nail files, that kind of thing. I've still got a unit here to build. And this is going to be my standing desk where I can put my laptop and edit all the YouTube videos and everything. Beatrice keeps going and looking out at, to the field and putting her paws up. So I've had to create a mini barricade so she doesn't escape. <laughs> but it's so cute. Literally, how cute is that? <laughs> what are you doing? You're being cute. What do you guys think? It is really, really awesome. I've got these gorgeous prints that I bought from Dr. Prince. So, so cool. Dr. Prince does loads of different like nail tech related and beauty prints and that kind of thing. I didn't want anything too specific to nails or beauty. So I saw these and I thought they were such a vibe and they really go with the aesthetics. So I've currently just sat them in frames, but I think I might put them up on the wall. I just need to tackle all this. I'm gonna put all my techie stuff in there for editing videos and filming and things in there and a little plant corner nails lux room i'm loving having a sofa but yeah would you guys like a full nail studio tour i never actually did a nail studio tour in my old nail studio for those of you who don't know i think i might have already mentioned it but my last nail studio was at my parents house it was in a little room in the house and me and my mum both shared it she's a hairdresser so she did hair clients in there i did nail clients in there so it's really nice and that's literally how i've spent my whole career for the last five six years is being in that room so this is my first space of my own so it's really really exciting super cool super grateful this is the space i'm absolutely loving it i'm sure it's going to change and move around of course I feel like that's just gonna happen, that's inevitable. But at the moment, I'm loving it. Would you guys like to see a nail studio tour? By the time I film that, it will probably have changed a little bit and I'll have probably upgraded some storage systems and organization because I think by then I'll have worked in it and done some clients so it will really help. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed watching me set up my new nail room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world and until next time, bye.